Hello everyone, it is the Feral Daryl that plays and welcome back to another Overlook Bay video. In this video today, we will be checking out part one of the brand new Halloween update. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. I notice right off the bat is that it is super super dark I can barely see anything I have my brightness turned up all the way on my computer and it is still very very hard to see anything so let's take a look at everything that we have for the week of October 15th so the Halloween update is upon us the spider bat is now at the wishing well spooky Halloween map Halloween music has returned Wishing Well update, Overlook Bay's doomed, what? Stay tuned, okay. Spooky season, Wonderwork Studio, okay, that's pretty cool. Not a whole lot of news, but still enough news. So let's head over to the Wishing Well. Oh, right, uh, no, not there, not weekly rewards. Let's head on over to the Wishing Well and see what they have for us here. Whoa, it looks cool already. Okay, so right now is the Spider Bat. So the Spider Bat is now in the Wishing Well. Um, I don't think we can get it with only nine wishes, but that would be pretty cool. We'll be talking about the future of Overlook Bay as well, as well as Overlook Bay 2 in this video, and more about that later, and not just normal Overlook Bay Halloween update, but we will be taking these wishes at the Wishing Well. Let's admire everything while we are at the Wishing Well. So it's all dark. There are the ghosts right there, the pumpkins. Um, the scarecrows, it looks pretty cool. Let's see, I got a gold pet pod. So the first one I got a diamond pet pod, and now I got a gold pet pod. I'd say that's pretty good, so let's continue to go around until we see some new stuff. So, um, yeah, it does look dark and scary. I don't see anything new, and I don't think there is anything new. Let's go to Melody Point, because it did show us a picture of that. On Twitter, I didn't see anything new there either, but still, let's just go around the map and see what the map is like in the brand new fall slash Halloween theme. 25 doubloons, I'll gladly take it. Let's continue wishing though. Let's see, uh, Melody Point. Okay, still the same. It looks cool though with all the Halloween colors and the dark backgrounds. This is cool. I love this brand new Halloween update. Ooh, what does Arcadia Isle look like? as the Halloween version. That would look cool. Let's go there right now, actually. Uh, yes, let's ride to Arcadia Isle, and let's see what we get in the wishing. Okay, gold pet plot. That's fine. Whoa, it looks even cooler here, because it's like an island. That's cool. Okay, gold pet pod. That's pretty good as well. Um, hmm. Let's see what we'll get right here. Please be that. No, okay. Well, that's okay. Um, let's look around. I mean, doesn't look like much has changed. It does look cool though with the brand new background and everything. It looks very Halloween like. I love the Halloween vibes as well. Um, let's get on my UFO actually. Why not? Uh, UFO is very Halloween like. It's from last year's Halloween event. I love last year's Halloween event so much. Um, we're going to talk about what Overlook Bay planned for this year's Halloween and what actually came out. Oh look, there's a city back there. That's cool. Because there was a little bit of miscommunication and some things were not added that were planned. Actually, most of the things. But still, we'll be looking at everything that is still to come in Overlook Base Update. Because this is all there is this week. There's the new Wishing Well Pet and there is the scenery, which is the background. Uh, it does look cool, the darkness of it. I don't get why there's still the leaves falling though. It doesn't really make much sense to me. Well, we're done with all of our wishes right now, so let's head on over to Twitter, and I'm going to show you guys everything that we could have got in the update. So, one day ago, at noon Eastern Time, Wonderwork Studio sent out a tweet that says this, Time for Overlook Bay Halloween Tea. We're hard at work preparing Overlook Bay 2, but we still wanted to celebrate the holiday. Here's what to expect in this three-part event. New Wishing Well Pet scavenger hunt with new pet reward and then scavenger hunt plus robux pet that sounds awfully lot like the easter update 
and this latest museum fossil update with the uh, the pets, the pass, and also the scavenger hunts. I found this pretty boring and very repetitive. We did those over and over and over, and Overlook Bay community said quite a bit about it and had a lot of bad feedback. Well, it was actually pretty good feedback, and which is what made them change their mind for the most part. So here's what Calmingo said. I'm not mad there is a scavenger hunt for Halloween as long as you do something new with it. But I mean, come on, just please tell us that you're getting more than just a Robux pet and scavenger hunt for the Halloween update. People are really excited for this update. And then there's this tweet for, from Holiday Prawner that said there won't be a scavenger hunt for Halloween. Then he says, Overlook Bay is still going to receive support but we always want to do big events. However, we're going to dedicate the time to improve the game's structure before adding more stuff to it, which causes all the bugs. It will be worth the wait for sure. Besides, I think this Halloween will be just as fun as last year's unique mini-games rather than a simple scavenger hunt. So that was said um, last month on the 16th. So although he said that, times and everything has changed, and now we are not, yes, now we are going to get a scavenger hunt, which is kind of annoying. Not just one scavenger hunt, two scavenger hunts after he said we won't be getting a scavenger hunt. We already had two scavenger hunts this year, and I am not looking forward to it, but I am being optimistic about it and still happy for the future of Overlook Bay, and hopefully we will be getting some cool things as well along with that. So next up, Wonderwork Studio tweeted this. So, here's the thing. We had huge plans for Halloween. The problem was the code and our ability to make things work. Seeing what a mess it was inspired us to go forward with Overlook Bay 2, but was also why we couldn't do slash redo a big event. Here's a peek at what we had planned. So, it was a five-week event from October the 1st to November the 5th. So here's the overview of it. So from the first week, week one, which would be October the 1st through October the 8th, we would have goal hunting too. So it's kind of like last year's goal hunting, I'd assume. We would have the introduction, the breakdown, the tools, and the rewards for the goal hunting. That's basically it. It's kind of cool about that. The first week would also have trick-or-treating. Uh, with the trick-or-treating, it would have the introduction, breakdown, tools and rewards just like the goal hunting part two which i said previously next up in the first week we also have the ring of souls so the ring of souls not quite sure what that is either then next we'd have sulfur's burrow and world design which is overlook bay emerald estate soul dungeon and gold domain so i'm assuming that's kind of what it is right now, the background of Overlook Bay and the moon and stuff like that. And then finally, we would have the haunted pets. That sounds like a pretty good week one, to be honest. And for week two, they had these things planned. The pumpkin abode, furniture series two for Halloween, which sounds amazing. Week three would consist of collectibles and vehicles. So this kind of sounds like the Christmas update from last year, how they spread things out. And then week five would have the mythic pet. No, week four would have the mythic pet. And week five would have the wishing well pet in the aftermath. So the aftermath, not sure what that is. And Easter eggs will also be included. So that's what they had planned for the update. And they have even more. So for the haunted pets from the haunted pet pod, which that's what it was called. They, they had the common goblin, the common bat, the Uncommon Skeleton Dog, The Uncommon Imp, The Rare Screecher, all of these are on screen right now, and also we would have the Rare Venus Flytrap, the Ultra Rare Zombear, and the Ultra Rare Scarecrow, and one more, the Legendary Pum Queen, which goes with the Pum King from last year. Then we would have other things, the Sour Tooth, it would be the reward from the Ring of Souls, and that would be a legendary. The Grim Reaper would be a legendary Robux pet for 795 Robux. The uh, Celestial Raven would be a godly, and that would be from the Haunted Pet Pods, the only godly pet from the Haunted Pet Pods. The Pumpkin Spice Cow would be the Wishing Well pet, which things obviously changed because we saw the Wishing Well pet today. And the werewolf, the werewolf would be 6666 souls, and that would be the mythic pet. The vehicles would be 
the uncommon Sofer's Barrow, no, the uncommon candy corn cart, and it would be bought in Sofer's Barrow. Um, the Soulfest hoverboard, which would be a rare and would be bought at the same place for souls. The Flying Dutchman ship, which would be an ultra rare and would also be bought there. And finally, the Godly Beast truck. That sounds cool. That sounds like the coolest out of all of them. It is a Robux truck. Finally, the, um, the Ring of Souls community rewards. First up, we would have the Soul Staff, the Soul Summoner Sapped, which is rare, and it is for 100,000 souls or greater. That would be from the community rewards. Next up, the second thing would be the Flying Dutchman Ship, ultra rare. Next up would be five pumpkin seeds, which would have a 31 gem value. The legendary would be the sour sweet tooth. The godly, or the next item, would be the pet growth elixir. And finally, the haunted pod stay two more weeks, which sounds a lot like last year's event. This is awesome, and this would have been a great update. Then Overlook Bay responds to it with this tweet right here. Um, we've always had the best of plans and intentions to make Overlook Bay the best experience possible, which I understand, unfortunately, is going to take some time to rebuild and do just that. We promise it is going to be worth the wait. We'll have more answers and news for you later. Then, just a few minutes after that tweet, they said, We just want to be transparent with all of you. While we can't do all of this stuff, uh, this year, we are always trying to make your experience amazing. Once we have Overlook Bay 2 ready to go, you can bet we'll have big things planned for you in the future. So this sounds awfully one-sided. So this sounds like there will be tons and tons and tons of new content in the future, part of Overlook Bay 2. But they just couldn't do it all in this normal Overlook Bay 1, so they had to do a lot smaller of an update this year which is completely fine with me because it makes sense that they need to make the game the best possible and I honestly like that choice and like the wait for maybe next year's Halloween update. So we do know the other things coming for this year's Halloween update. This is week one. We have the new background and we have the new wishing well pet. Next week is the um, the Robux pet and the, reward and the uh, scavenger hunt. And then the final week is another scavenger hunt with more rewards. So that is everything that we know for this year's Halloween update and the future. Because I know you guys have heard of a lot of all this nonsense that makes no sense about Overlook Bay right now. And it is very much unlike Overlook Bay to just kind of leave us in the blue and not really explain things. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and now understand why this is such a small event and hopefully we can have a bigger event in the future. But thank you so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye.